previous part of this series of videos I was trying to explain to people what's actually being done in OpenCV and especially the component that's called Cascade Classification uh, in order to do classification of features in a real-time sequence of videos or you know actually sequence of images from a form in a video uh, and I was showing some documentation you know what's involved here uh, you know in this case obviously it's implemented in C++ like most things in OpenCV and this gives some documentation of the way it's implemented in form that's you know actually code form uh, what you want to do though, uh, if you're using GNU slash Linux distribution or anything else, you probably want to get the package OpenCV in binary form, unless you want to actually try and compile it with CMake, which is quite a, uh, it's not a very simple exercise, you probably don't want to do that, you should be able to get repositories with the, uh, with the OpenCV package in binary form. What you really want in order to do a uh, cascade classification is two tools, one of them is called OpenCV Train Cascade, okay, so that's going to give you some documentation of the way it works and the other thing you probably want to have is this tool here which I used before to create samples uh, if I just run create samples I get some documentation of the way it's being used it's a command line uh, tool and with those two things being used in tandem uh, you can deal with uh, positives and negatives images which describe the scene in a you know des describe a scene with the object in it with some annotation which you know shows you exactly uh, uh, what the image is supposed to look like in some samples and some some of the opposite things which is just basically noise you know negatives things that don't actually contain the object of interest uh, it might be a face it might be a car in my case because I'm working with cars and uh, and in the next few videos I'll show you how to use the command line tools because they're very simple to use once you actually know what you're doing and it shouldn't be intimidating as it is if you just read some text about it.